welcome to Tara Reed Country TV, where I keep it 100 in truth with inspiration. Listen, everybody, you want to stay for the entire show on tonight because I'm going to answer some of the questions that you've had. I have the same questions. We have a global awakening around the country. This television show is about keeping it 100 on what's going on in the country according to biblical prophecy and according to our Heavenly Father's Word. Some things that you don't have to watch the news, it's just prophecy. I am Terry, a disciple of Yah. I ask the Heavenly Father to use me the way He sees fit. And He blessed me with many talents and gifts to use for His glory. And I give Him all the praises for everything that I am because I can't do anything without Him. So whether I am used in the performing arts, in education, youth, teaching, ministering, for His glory, I want to make sure that I am in His will. And my mission is to share the good news nationwide across this country. It's to inspire you, encourage you, uplift you, and give you the word of Yah through all forms of gifts and talents. And having guests on the show who, who will bless you with inspirations, as well as giving you the word that's for the country and prophecy that's for the country. And when you finish watching you should be so stirred up full of joy. And some of the questions that I have heard, is this a doctrine, a new doctrine? Because in the word it said there will be different doctrines and false prophets. And that's one of the questions. But another question is, is this true or just a rumor or false? Should we disregard it? Why is black people being Israelites such an issue when it can be proven scientifically, biblically and historically? Why does schools not teach us our real history? The Atlantic slave trade do not define the black Negro's history. Why were blacks in this country nationally renamed multiple times? Did someone make a mistake multiple times? Why did we settle to be so-called African Americans? We are not African. All blacks are not from the same. Ham is the bloodline for Africans and Shem the bloodline of the black Americans. Is this a distraction from Yeshua HaMashiach? Some people think so, but it is not. For other people who might consider this to be racist, this is not racist to want to wake up your own people to the truth because of the deception, lies, and hidden identity for centuries. My question to America would be, do black lives matter or black lies matter? What do you think? And how can people think all Israelites are in a cult or in an Israelite camp religion just because some are angry and acting foolish? Who would not be angry though to have their entire existence whited out and stolen? I can't believe people are being fired and punished for being anti-Shemitic and anti-Semitic due to a people who DNA are Europeans not Israelites and descendants of Japheth not Shem. Make this video go viral, keeping it 100 in truth and inspirations. Yeshua will redeem us. This too shall pass. We learn everyone history but our own. Let's focus on the good, our people awakening to know who we are. We will share truth with those who have an ear to hear. Ezekiel 11:17. Therefore say, Thus says the Adonai Yah, I will gather you from the peoples and assemble you out of the countries where you have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. Matthew 24, 13, 14 But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, meaning Gentiles or heathens, and then shall the end come. Because the Heavenly Father is not the author of confusion. Let me ask you a question. If your identity was stolen and your history was erased, 
Would you just believe what people tell you without providing any proof? Engrafted or birthed, we're all saved by grace. Before we get started with our resources that we're going to provide you for today, I want to say this disclaimer that we believe that Yahshua HaMashiach is love. So we do not have hatred towards any race. We believe that Yahshua, that he came for the lost sheep of Israel, when he died for sin, that salvation is available for you. If you believe and baptize according to the scriptures, we do not believe in race salvation. We're not affiliated with any Israel camps or occults. Romans 12 3 says, For I say through grace given unto me to every man that is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think but to think soberly according to Yah hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. 1 Corinthians 16, 13, be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong, do everything in love. Romans 12, Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Romans 12, 18. If it be possible, as much as lies in you, live peaceably with all men. Proverbs 4, 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and in all thy getting, get understanding. Psalms 119, 104. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Heavenly Father does not want us to be prideful or conceited or think more highly than we ought to think. Uh, by revealing the information that I'm about to reveal. He also wants us to demonstrate the difference between Israelites who are in a cults and Israelite camps versus Israelites that actually are walking in his word, his righteousness, and his truth. And so one way that you know to identify is a love that we have and not a hatred. A second way to identify is that he said, if it be possible, have peace with all men. So if you're speaking with an Israelite that's not displaying love and not, um, then you know immediately that they could be possibly from a camp or an occult because the Heavenly Father does not want us to hate anyone. He wants us to hate evil and hate those things that he hates, but he don't want us to hate each other. He wants us to love each other. And we, as we walk in that love and in that peace, then we will be separate and not labeled as something that we're not and that we're not a part of or affiliated with. The Bible and history coincide together. The black people who are African Americans in this country have been labeled colored black Negro and currently African American. They are the only nationality had nationality changes in the history of America. Also, when we start from the Bible, We'll have Bible references, references that's data, that's, that you can get from Google, and then we'll have references from other authors and people themselves. I'm gonna start by showing you who is not Romans 11.25, 
I do not want you to be ignorant of this mystery, brothers and sisters, so that you may not be conceited. Israel has experienced a hardening in part until the full number of the Gentiles, meaning nation, has come in. The black people in America also are the only race. The Negroes who do not have a native tongue, a native land, if you ask the average um, African-American child where you're from, they're gonna tell you a state or a city or county. If you ask them what language they speak, they're going to tell you English because we do speak English. If you ask them their culture, they will probably not answer you at all. They probably would say hip hop. It is proven that we are the only nationality who do not have what you consider an original culture. I say that we do not have because it's not being taught in school. They have clumped us all together as melanated people, as African Americans, but the black and brown people that live in the country today are not and proven to not be Africans. Let's start at Genesis chapter 10, verse one. It states that Noah had three sons, which was Japheth, Shem and Ham. We're going to focus on Japheth and his bloodline. And we're going to go to Ham bloodline next and Shem last. We're going to start with Japheth because if I can show you who's not an Israelite, then the question is, who are the real Israelites? Now, the interesting thing that I notice is that Japheth is the only son that it mentions something a little bit different at the end of listing his bloodline. And so if you look at Genesis 10.5, Genesis 10.20, and Genesis 10.31, for Japheth it says, these were the isles of the Gentiles divided in their lands everyone after his tongue, after their families, in their nations. And the son of Japheth, Gomar, Magog, Madai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Mashik, and Tyres. Verse 3. The sons of Gomar, Asganaz, Ripheth, and Togomar. This verse has six different Bible translations that is exactly the same. One of Japheth's or Japhite's son of Gomar descendants is known today as the Ashkenaz Jews. For chapter 10 verse 20 for his son Ham, after a list of his bloodline, the last verse says, these are the sons of Ham after their family, after their tongues, in their countries, and in their nations. Verse 31, these are the sons of Shem after their families, after their tongues, in their lands, after their nations. After reading these verses, the nationalities have the following lands, African, Africa, Chinese, China, Europeans, Europe, Russians, Russia, Japanese, Japan, Eastern Indians, India, Negro. The question is, Where's my black people's land named after us? 
what's our native tongue and our nation? What's our original religion and culture? Ham or Hamites became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. Africans wasn't selling other Africans. They were selling Hebrew Israelites, the Negroes, the so-called African Americans in the country today. Slavery was something that people inflict on others. Right? You don't generally speaking enslave people like yourself. Now, how those borders are drawn may, be, may change. You know? So if you go back to ancient Athens, for example, it would have been rare for an Athenian to enslave another Athenian, but he would have had no qualms about enslaving a Spartan or a Corinthian or whatever. There's a kind of notion that you'll hear a lot of people say that you know, Africans enslaved their own people. And in fact, they didn't. In our imagination today, this is one place inhabited by one race of people. But that wouldn't have made much sense to people at the time. You know, Africa was and is a dizzyingly diverse continent with literally thousands of distinct ethnic and linguistic groups. And so there's conflict and you know, contestation between those groups. And uh, that grows dramatically, that conflict grows dramatically in the course of the centuries of the slave trade. Now, the descendants of Japheth is Genesis chapter 10, 1 through 5. Immediately after uh, Japheth, you have the descendants of Ham, which is Genesis 10, 6 through 20. And for the descendants of Shem, it's Genesis chapter 10, 21 through 32. And it has a list of their descendants and bloodline. Because we are focusing on Japheth only to show you that Japheth could not possibly be the scattered to be the Israelites. And so Japheth, Genesis 10.5, these were the isles of the Gentiles divided in their lands. The word Gentile in the Encyclopedia Britannica and all of our references and research sources are going to be in um, our post with this video. The Encyclopedia Britannica defines the word Gentile as nations. The nations were everyone who were not a Hebrew. BibleStudyTools.com and, and put in the Isles of Gentiles, it says that the Isles is a margin coast lands in, of the nations, said the territories of the son of Japheth. So we know that that was his bloodline in that area because it says the land identifies the origin of the nationality of that bloodline and identify those people on where they live so we're we're looking at where the line of Japheth originally lived and so the reference of the coast of the West Mediterranean with their islands it says compare Isles of the so the Isles of Gentiles, um, which Gentiles means nation. Um, the nation is near the the West Mediterranean Sea, and according to Britannica, the the Mediterranean Sea is an intercontinental sea which stretches from the Atlantic Ocean on the west to Asia on the east and separates. Um, Europe from Africa. If you look at the map, we look at the map and we see that Europe is located up north and then you'll see Japheth and the other two uh, brothers, which we're not focusing on right now, but Shem is located 
in the purple area and ham is located in the green area. When you find out where people originated from, the evidence provided cannot be denied. We're focusing on Noah's son, Japheth, who a polyist. They believe in more than one God. His sons were Gomar, Magag, Javan, Tubal, and Mashiach. World system role of the end times, Europe, Asia, Iran, and Iraq. Here's a closer look of a world map. You have above the Romanian Sea, you have the Gentile nations, Turkey, Greece, Italy, Romania, Germany, Poland, Bulgaria, Ukraine. Well, we know that Joseph's bloodline was the Isles of the Gentiles. And so Yahshua HaMashiach was turned over to the Gentiles, which was the nation or heathens. And when he was turned over, they crucified him. And Yeshua going up to Jerusalem, took the twelve disciples apart in the way, and said unto them, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be betrayed unto the chief priests and unto the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death, and shall deliver them unto the Gentiles to mock and to crucify, and the third day shall rise again. Let's go to Paul. Paul was the apostle of the Gentiles, or the Europeans, because they, reside, they resided in Europe and Asia. Um, and if you study Paul, he traveled by sea vessels. It says, And there sat a certain man at Lystra, impotent with his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who never had walked. The same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him, and perceiving that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, Stand upright on your feet. And he leaped and walked. And when the people saw what Paul had done, they lifted up their voices, saying to the speech of Lysiona, The gods are come down to us in the likeness of men. And they called Barnabas Jupiter Mercurius because he was the chief speaker. Then the priest of Jupiter, which was before their city, brought oxen and garlands unto the gates and would have done sacrifice with people. Verse 14, which when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard of, they rent their clothes and ran in among the people crying out and saying, Sirs, why do ye these things? We also are men of like passions with you and preach unto you that ye should turn from these vanities unto the living Yah, which made heaven and earth and the sea and all things that are within, who in time past suffered all nations to walk in their own ways. You know, nations, Gentiles, walk to walk in their own ways. Nevertheless, he left not himself without witness, in that he did good and gave us rain from heaven and fruitful seas, filling our hearts with food and gladness. And with these things, scarce restrained they the people, and they had not done sacrifice unto them. The purpose of reading that scripture is to show you that Paul was preaching to the Greeks um, who worshiped Zeus and he was also preaching to the Romans who worship Jupiter and both are Europeans not scattered Israelites confirming the descendants of Japheth not Israel what we see in the Bible is consistent with history is consistent with the history and we're going to go further because it's very important that we understand that this is not a, a conspiracy theory it is not something that's made up it's not something that is false or a deception or a doctrine Israelites is a nationality by birth Now that we figured out that Japheth 
descendants actually came from Europe and they were up north um, as well as Asia. So you know how you were in school and sometimes, I know for me, when you had a multiple choice and you couldn't figure it out, you did a process of elimination. And this is what we are doing right now because if you know who's not, then we're going to search who is the true Israelites that's in the Bible. Nations associated with the descendants of Japheth's sons are Greeks, Arians of India, Gomar, people living in the area of the Black Sea, Germany, and Wales. Magog, reference to Gog, referring to Georgia, a region near the Black Sea and the Scythians. Madai, Medes, Persia, Japheth through Madai's father of people of India. Javan, people of Greece and Cyprus. Tubal, Russian city of Tobolik. Meshik, Russian name Muscovy, city of Moscow. So when you look up Gomar in the Wikipedia, the Hebrew name Gomar means Kimmerans. And Kimmerans, they dwelt in what is now the southern Russia beyond the Caucasus. And when you look up Kimmerans, I mean Kimmerans, when you look up Kimmerans, and according to the Wikipedia, the Kimmerans were Greek. So if the Kimmerans were Greek, which is the Hebrew name for Gomar, then that is confirmation that the Greeks also come from the bloodline of Japheth. Nation all have been proven to be all European, including the groups to the right, with Gomar's son Agonaz as an Agonaz Jews, Rapheth and Togomar. Apostle Paul, who was the Gentile apostle who actually uh, preached the gospel to the Gentiles, which would be the Romans and the Greeks, which were Europeans, and it proves that the Europeans are the Caucasians, Greeks, and Romans. If you look at Acts 13 through 15, um, that will be Paul's first missionary journey and Jerusalem Council and Acts 16 um, verses 18 through 22 is the second missionary journey that Paul took as a Gentile. And if you look at the map, the map would actually show you color coordinated um, starting with the blue as you can see that's the Mediterranean Sea and above the Mediterranean Sea as we saw in the other map was the Black Sea. Paul journey arrows point up north in the European areas. There is a conflict because the Akhenazi Jews say that um, the Israelites who claim to be the true people of the Bible are anti-Semitic or anti-Shemitic. And according to the Bible, they are in the Bible under the line of Japheth and we saw that in Genesis 10 3 where the Echinazi was an actual son of uh, Gomar which is the uh, bloodline of Japheth so if the Echinazis are the the bloodline of Japheth then we saw that Japheth are the Isles of the Gentiles which is the does it matter? We want to keep it truth in 100. Um, with this information, it's very important because there are people that are losing their jobs. There are people that are getting a bad reputation. Um, there are people that are being punished for being accused of being anti-Semitic or anti-Semitic. And as we see in the Bible, and it can be proved from the location, because we know that J Japheth is located in Europe. 
and Asia, and that was proven in Genesis. So with this being true, no one should be persecuted, accused, fined. I mean, these are things that is proven from all the references. Isles of the Gentiles, nation, Genesis 10, 5, territories of the sons of Japheth. The reference is the West Mediterranean Sea. If you look to your left, you will see the Western Mediterranean Sea. Look to your top right, you see Gomar, the son of Japheth, and Gomar's son, the Askenaz, as in the Askenaz Jews. In the map shown previously, you see no three sons that created the nations and the world. The Hebrew Israelites came from the nation of Shem through the bloodline by birth. You cannot be converted into a Hebrew Israelite. In Genesis 10, 3, if the Akonajis are in the Bible under the uh, bloodline of Japheth, then it would be incorrect to say or to call someone anti Semitic or anti-Shemitic because they are the line of Japheth. As we begin to move on further, um, once again, what is the significance of all of this? We want to keep it 100 in truth and inspiration. This is good news and a report for those people who had questions, for those people who actually wanted proof, for those people who didn't think it matter but obviously it matters a lot many people who are awakening don't have enough information from research to be able to prove that the blacks in America in this country are indeed the lost tribe of Israel the Hebrew Israelites which is true the identity of the hidden um, mystery is being revealed and once again we are just doing a process of elimination we haven't even gotten to Shem but to say anti-Shemitic and we haven't even talked about Shem at all um, would be false is to mock make fun of and to discredit the information that's being provided and I just want to let you know please do not be deceived about this information it is, in fact, true. I've done the research. I started with Japheth because it's just so much evidence that's out there that you can research and even find out for yourself that um, the Akhenazi Jews are not who they say they are. And we're going to continue to prove that. But I want to do a process of elimination with you and I wanted to take my time so that you can see scripture by scripture. But the most important thing that you need to know that every race have a land. And we saw that in Genesis. They have a language. You saw that in Genesis. Henry M. Morris. He says, it is important to remember that true racism has its roots in the theory of evolution. The Bible does not once recognize the existence of different races or even the very concept of race. The latter is strictly a category of evolutionary biology. Arthur Kusher. After many years of research, a brilliant scholar and writer named Arthur Kushner published a 255-page book entitled The Thirteen Tribe, in which he proves that the Eastern European Jews are neither Israelites nor Semites. He stated that um, they are from Khazaria. Khazaria, if you look on the map, it is... Europe. As you can see, you see the Black Sea, you see the Caucasus Mountains. The author advances the thesis that Ashkenazi Jews are not descendants from the historical Israelites of antiquity, but from Khazars, a Turkic people. After the fall, the Khazar finally disappeared from the history. However, is that really the Khazars disappeared after the fall? There were some theories that may help us to determine where are the Khazars now. 
Some theories stated that the Khazars were not disappeared. Instead, they are migrating to the west and forming the parts of the core of the Ashkenazi Jewish population in Europe. According to an Israeli-born genetist, Aaron L. Haig, he found that the Ashkenazi Jews are the European Jews. I respect all nations and their cultures. Through this research, I've discovered that Japheth's bloodline, including the Ashkenaz Jews, are not the scattered Israelites. According to the Bible, science, and history coinciding,
The LA Times, The Nature Communications, The Scientists, and The Life Science are all articles to give you information and confirm the DNA of the Ashkenaz Jews, confirming they are from the European areas. In addition to all of the descendants that originated from the bloodline of Japheth. If the government declared for every nationality to go back to their native land, where would the Negroes go? Back to Africa? Wrong answer, because we're not Africans. The following video is called Israel is not the homeland of the Ashkenazi Jews. It is a reference link on our YouTube channel. Worse yet, the concept that Palestine is their homeland has turned out to be a tragic mistake. These white-skinned Ashkenazi Jews are not descendants of the original Jews of Palestine. There were no white people in Africa or Palestine 2,000 years ago. The medieval Europeans assumed that Jesus Christ, his mother, and the other original Jews looked just like the Europeans, which is why you can find Jesus with blue eyes and green eyes, and why his mother has such white skin. A Jewish historian looked into the ancestry of the Ashkenazi Jews and wrote the 13th tribe to show that their homeland is the area near the Caspian Sea. The schools, the media, and even the 9-11 truth seekers are dishonest about the history of Israel, Zionism, and Jews. Uh, it's a book called The Thirteenth Tribe by a man named Kostler, and it was written some time ago. However, it is still, to date, I think probably the strongest evidence uh, of some of the deceptions around you know, the, the, the Zionist camp, how they are going out into the air, uh, you know, airwaves and into the, to the newspapers, creating uh, false charges of anti-Semitism ca causing uh, people to believe that uh, they are in fact the rightful heirs to Israel. How can we have the so-called right of return? That will surely, I mean, I, I'm, you know, I consider myself fairly educated, but I thought to return to somewhere, you have to go there first and leave. These people returning to a place they've never been to. Being an Israelite is a, a nationality, so it's not a religion, it's a culture, and it is who we are. And we can't be grouped together or all be categorized the same based on the reputation and the negativism and the uh, behaviors of other Israelites, camp cults, or angry uh, Israelites. Not all Israelites are angry or mad at that or want to lash out with violence and hatred and offenses and name calling. Um, such as myself, I am an Israelite and uh, by birth and I know that according to the Word of Yah, He has created us in His image and that's just not the character of the Yeshua HaMashiach that we serve. This information is ordained to get to you today because um, the Israelites are essential to our history. And as the word says, it's not to think more highly than you ought. And it has been a mystery um, that has not been revealed because the Heavenly Father hardened the hearts of Israel so they wouldn't get conceited. Because just because we are the chosen people, it doesn't mean that you're better than anyone else. What it does mean is that we were chosen by grace. We were chosen and we didn't do anything to be chosen. And so I don't want this information. The Heavenly Father wants the black people of America to know who you are. Share this video with everybody, your children, and let them know their history because we do have a culture, we do have a native land, and we do have a native tongue.
due to the Atlanta slave trade, which we're about to get ready to go into, so you can understand that the Jewish community and the Jews uh, who called themselves the Jews had a big part in history. Jews participated in every aspect and process of exploitation of blacks. 1830, over 75% of all Jewish families in Charleston, Richmond, and Savannah owned slaves. Almost 40% of all Jewish households in the United States own one slave or more. Jews dominated the slave trade. The buyers appeared at the auctions almost always. The cotton plantations in many parts of the South were wholly in the hands of the Jews. The first two centuries, Black Jewish was highlighted by the fairly extensive record of Jewish slaveholding. The Jewish shipping business was the largest and mainly a Jewish enterprise. The slave ad stated Negroes, evidence that the Arabics and Africans were aware of who was being enslaved. In conclusion, the Jews played a prominent role in the Atlanta slave trade, owning slaves, slave ships, plantations, dominating the cotton industry, and dominating the slave trade, which made them very wealthy, and the wealth continue today. The tribe of Judah and the children of Israel was captured and transported in the Jews' slave ships, sent to Arabic and Jews auctions worked on the Jews plantations who dominated the Atlantic slave trade. The black people in America are indeed the true Israelites. My brothers and sisters, I say that you are the true Israelites. Genesis chapter 10 verses two through five where the Bible reads, the sons of Japheth Gomer and Magog and Madai and Javan and Tubal and Meshach and Tiras and the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz and Riphath and Tagarma and the sons of Javan, Elisha, Tarshish, Kittim and Dodanim. By these were the isles of the Gentiles divided in their lands, everyone after his tongue, after their families, in their nations. Now the reason that I read those scriptures to you is that they clearly state that Ashkenaz is one of the Gentile nations. Now, 80 to 85 percent of today's so-called Jewry, those who claim to be Jews in the world today, 80 to 85 percent of them are what is known as Ashkenazi Jews. And an Ashkenazi Jew is so named because he primarily descends from this guy in the Bible named Ashkenaz, which is clearly listed as one of the Gentile nations. Now, the reason for this is that there was a nation of people who were of Japheth, you know, who were Europeans, white people, uh, known as the Khazars. And in the 8th century after Christ, the whole nation of the Khazars turned unto Judaism. They converted to the religion of Judaism. Of course, it was a false Christ-rejecting religion. And for a few hundred years, the empire of the Khazars was a, a, a power in Eastern Europe, and they followed the religion of Judaism. But eventually they were defeated by the Russians and they were scattered into Eastern Europe. And so a lot of the Eastern European Jews today are the descendants of the Khazars. And in fact, DNA testing has even confirmed that the Ashkenazi Jews have about 80% of their genetics and 80% of their ancestry from Europeans. And the other 20% would be Middle Eastern. So today's so-called Jews, the Ashkenazis, which again, like I said, is 80 to 85 percent of so-called Jews in the world today, and it is the primary type of Jew that immigrated into the nation of Israel and Palestine, and it is also the primary type of Jew that uh, is living in the United States today, by far. So these Ashkenazi Jews, according to the Bible, are actually Gentiles. And I'm not the one calling them Ashkenazi Jews. They'll even call themselves Ashkenazi Jews. Uh, you can even just go to Wikipedia and just type in Ashkenazi Jews and it will uh, explain these things to you. You can talk to a rabbi and, and you can talk to whoever you want 
and uh, you'll find out that these Ashkenazi Jews are the descendants of converts to Judaism. And the reason that that is significant is that a lot of Christian Zionists today, they claim that these Jews are God's chosen people because of the fact that they descend from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But in reality, they don't descend from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob any more than you or I do, okay? They have some blood mixed in from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob from intermarrying with other Jews, but so do the rest of us Europeans. Primarily, they are white Europeans. They are not Middle Eastern Jews. And that's why when you look at those in Hollywood today that are so-called Jews, uh, they don't look like Middle Eastern people. They look like white people because they are the descendants of white converts to Judaism, Caucasian converts, Khazars. Uh, that's why they're called Ashkenazi because they're of Japheth. They're primarily descended from the Gentiles. The Heavenly Father himself said it. That should be enough to convince you. The reason why we have to get on television and apologize to a group of people that are living our identity or culture is because we don't know our history and we perish for a lack of knowledge. And we are not African. In Revelations, the Heavenly Father himself reveals who is definitely not the tribes of Israel. And it says in Revelation 2, 9, I know thy works, I know thy tribulation, and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are of the synagogues of Satan. With all of the truth, keep it 100, that we have discovered, this is with inspirations. When Yah says, I know, it's so refreshing when somebody say, I know, I can relate to you. I understand what you are feeling and experiencing. He says, our Heavenly Father say, I know, I know, I know your works. He acknowledges your work, your tribulation, and melanated people have gone through a lot of tribulation just in slavery itself. But our Heavenly Father says, I know your works, your tribulation, and your poverty, but thou art good. Revelation 3 9 reads, Behold, I will make them of the synagogues of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not but do lie. Behold, I will make them come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee, that I have loved thee. This entire um, study is to inspire um, the melanated black and brown people who are called African Americans because we are not from Africa because we are not from Africa because we are not from Africa I told you um, I told you the end of the word which is Revelation at the end let's go back to the beginning let's go to um, Genesis 9 27 that says may God extend Japheth's territory and may Japheth live in the tents of Shem and may Canaan be the slave of Japheth so if the Hebrews, the Jews, which changed the name to Hebrew, I mean, I'm sorry, they changed the name to Jews um, from Hebrews, if they are not the true Israelites, then they are occupying another descendant's life territory, says, because just like in Revelations, the Heavenly Father showed us in Revelations that he called them out. And in Genesis, going all the way back to the beginning, because the Israelites are the original people from the foundation of the earth, the aboriginal people from the foundation of the earth, the chosen people that we're going to actually show you. And one of the things in Genesis 27, is it says that, 
and God will extend Jason Japheth's territory. May Jason live in the tents of Shem. So if they're not the Israelites and they're in the wrong place and occupying another descendant's land, then they're actually today are living in the tents of Shem. Some will say, I belong to the Lord, Adonai in Hebrew. Others will call themselves by the name of Jacob. Still, others will write on their hand and will take the name Israel. The latter part of that scripture says, I will take. The latter part of that scripture said, I will take. The latter part of that scripture says, I will take. I will take the name Israel. And that's what they did. One will say, I belong to Adonai. And another will say, will call themselves by the name, call himself by the name of Jacob. Another will call himself will call himself by the name of Jacob. And Jacob was renamed by the Heavenly Father as Israel. When we talk about Shem, you're going to actually see in the word itself that the Heavenly Father renamed Jacob Israel. And right here in Isaiah 44, 5, it says, another will call himself by the name of Jacob. Who's calling himself by the name of Jacob today, which is the Athenians is Jew. not to overshadow our Yeshua Hamashiach, grace, mercy. He wants his people to know who they are because we're relevant. And you'll find it out when we start talking about him. This is not to be distracted or to be misled by letting our people know who they are because we're relevant to the end times. Yeshua and Mashiach can't come back until Israel comes together. There's something that's going to happen and go down with Israel. So we have to know who we are so that we can be ready. Preparing our children and letting our children know who they are according to the living word. The Holy Bible is not an educational book of stories to be told and principles to be lived, but it is a life and about a people. It is about you, black Americans in the world whose identity has been hidden. Preparing our children of who they are so they will not think that black is king, which is an insult to the king of kings. Educate our children to let them know who they are so they won't believe that they are Africans from descendants of Ham, which is the son of Noah, when they are descendants from Shem, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that was renamed Israel. How do we prepare as the kingdom of Yah? Faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of Yah. Romans 1 6 for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Yahshua Hamashiach for it is the power of Yah unto salvation to everyone that believeth to the Jew first who are the Jews Revelation 2 9 says according to the Heavenly Father that he knows those that commit blasphemy who say they are the Jews but are not they are of the synagogues of Satan that would eliminate the Akhenasi Jews, the son of Gomar, descendants of Japheth, who originated in Europe today called the European or the white Caucasian people and everyone who converted. Ham, whose son Canaan was cursed, is eliminated and his descendants. A Jew is the same as an Israelite from Israel and the tribe of Judah. The descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob renamed Israel and birthed the 12 tribes. According to the scattered and the curses in Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68, they would be the melanated black people renamed different nationalities throughout the history called the African America in this country today. They are the Jews that they are talking about. 
Now, my melanated people, when you're reading your word, your living word, the Bible, when they, when you read the word Jews, when you read the word tribe of Judah, when you read the word, the children of Israel, you now know that they are talking about you. This is not to take focus off of the word being shared with those who have an ear to hear and let them know the goodness of our Yahshua HaMashiach and how they can be saved and redeemed. This is not to do that. This is just to let our people know because it's a part of prophecy. And this is what the Heavenly Father has put in my heart and to tell you that Israel needs to wake up because the Heavenly Father wants them to return back to Him. The Heavenly Father wants Israel to turn from their wicked ways and humble themselves and repent and ask for forgiveness. My name is Ham. I am a son of Noah. My name is Japheth, the oldest son of Noah. My name is Shem. I am a son of Noah. My name is Noah. You will learn about the history of each of my sons and their lineage. This featured presentation is for people who have questions and would like proof from the Bible and cross-references. This is for families to share with your children and teachers to share with their classes. The Bible written by men inspired by Yah is your history book and living word. Teo Reed will use Yeshua Hebrew name for the European Jesus. Yah Hebrew for the English word God. Edenet Hebrew for English word means Lord. Ruach Kodesh Hebrew word for the Holy Spirit. Share this video. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and click notifications for MEW videos weekly. Keeping it 100% in truth and inspirations. This is Teo Reed Disclaimer. I do not believe in race-based salvation. I do not believe in hatred against any race. I am not affiliated with any Israelites camps or occults. Based on my study and research led by Yah and the Holy Spirit Ruach HaKodesh I am an Israelite by birth, that can be proven with evidence. The Bible is my history book. I believe Yahshua died for my sin. I am redeemed from the curse of the law. I have been baptized. I am a disciple of Yah Prophetess. My mission is to share the truth to whomever have an ear to hear. My talents and gifts are for His glory. Thank you for your seed of love donation used to minister with no limits to create, minister, inspire, and teach worldwide cash app dollar sign tile read. Shalom.